Hey guys, Theojo Tech. Did you know that Google Glass is coming back? That's right, there's pretty good reason to believe that a new version of Google Glass is going to be coming out very soon. This is rumored to be called the Google Glass Enterprise Edition. Now, we don't really know that much about it other than the FCC approved an application for a device that was submitted by Google just last week and it was called the GG1 and it had Bluetooth, Wi-Fi AC and some sort of display that you can swipe left and right on. Sounds a lot like Google Glass and we know that it hasn't been completely scrapped yet. People at Google have said, you know, it's not dead, it's coming back and maybe now is that time. Now the head of the Google Glass project, Ivy Ross, has said that the new version of Google Glass, whenever it comes out, is going to have a better display, slightly better battery life, also better sound quality, and less expensive. Hopefully so, because the original one was 1500 bucks. Some leaks have revealed a bigger display, which supposedly moves more in front of your eyes, so you don't have to look up into the right, maybe just up a little bit, and also slightly improved battery life, but not anything huge, which is kind of a disappointment because the battery life in the original one was just not that great at all. It was actually really bad. Now, some people have actually spotted Google testers with battery packs, apparently. So I think that's one thing they're definitely going to have to have because, you know, when I was using it, the battery really just died really quickly. But I'm thinking we're going to see external battery packs. Now, is this new one going to take off? We know that the original version really did not. It really never became popular. For one reason or another, people thought it was weird to look at. It was awkward. It, it gathered stares. Some people always assumed, you know, it was recording, like it was some sort of spy device, not even thinking that, well, it's probably easier to just get a quick photo on your phone than it is to say, okay, Glass, and like navigate through the thing. But, you know, people don't think. Google Glass was banned in some places because people were paranoid that anyone who's using it must be recording all the time, right? But it's important to consider that that was all really before wearables started to become more mainstream. You know, everyone's heard of the Apple Watch. HoloLens is gathering a lot of attention. The Fitbit, a lot of people have that as super popular. So I think wearable technology is becoming more acceptable. I think the main problem with the first Google Glass, it just wasn't ready yet. You know, people saw it, they thought it was weird. But you know, when people start wearing Apple Watches or you know, when HoloLens comes out and everyone thinks it's cool, you know, I think it's going to be a lot easier to catch on. And that's simply because people are going to be more used to that kind of stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this progresses, not just in terms of how technologically advanced this device gets, but also how people respond to it. For me, I did get the Google Glass Explorer Edition, and you know what? I never really ended up using it. So I'm probably not going to get the Enterprise Edition based on these moderate improvements. But you know what? If it starts going mainstream and everyone starts getting it, it's super popular, they make a ton of improvements, it might be something I'd be willing to get, especially if it's a lot cheaper. And I want to hear what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you know Google Glass, maybe the new version, is something you'd be interested in if it wasn't already, and how much you'd be willing to spend on this. We can all talk about that in the comments section. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. And I try to make new videos three times a week. So you can subscribe to that and more videos will be on the right hand side if that sounds good to you. But that's really all I had to say. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.